sudden, they were telling these stories, the guys on the north side, which is up above the south side, and they were witnessing what we were doing on the south side, and they were like telling stories about how these snowmobiles would come out of the woods, drop down a tributary, go back up, and then go into the woods, and then like almost as soon as they disappeared, Houdini would show up, almost on his tiptoes, sneaking behind them, and then behind him is like six younger bulls learning the ways of dodging the buffalo, well, the day continued and went on, and finally, four hours later, the Department of Livestock went home, and the day was over. They had given up, and they didn't capture one buffalo. So we go back to our camp, and we're kind of huddled around the fire, and um, our fire is located next to the main trail, the Houdini's Meadow, and it's like 20 yards away from us, and basically, if there's a trail in the winter in Montana, everyone uses it, from the animals to the humans, because, believe me, following a pre-made trail versus post towing through waist-deep snow, it's a lot easier to do. So about sunset, we're getting ready to go home, 11 of these bulls show up, and they start walking back to Houdini's Meadow. And each one, when they came by our fire, kind of stopped, looked over, nodded as if to say thanks, and then wandered on out to Houdini's Meadow. Well, I had the honor of being out there again the next morning, and, you know, it's cold as it is in Montana. We're huddled around our fire, and here comes Houdini. He's got the missing two bulls. He had picked up a mom, two two-year-olds, and a yearling. And he comes walking down the same trail, but he turns in and he comes right up to us in our fire and he's like, from me to you. And he's just staring at us. I would like to induct you all into the Buffalo family and ask a couple things for you to do if you wouldn't mind this evening. Um, we are on the end of a month and a half road show. Um, we started up in the San Juan Islands and we're just about done. We got a thing to do at Patagonia on Tuesday. Um, but we produce these annual newsletters. We feel that the whole reason that this is going on is because people don't know this is going on. And so this is made out of 100% recycled post-consumer paper because we care about the trees as much as we care about the buffalo. They're all interconnected. But we need you to take as many of these as you possibly can, get them out in coffee shops, get them out in doctor's office, give them to your friends, just make sure that people get educated about this. I also have a DVD that I showed you tonight, and obviously I didn't show you half of what was on it. And please take those for free if you'll help spread the word. That petition I asked you to sign, if everyone can do that, that would be a great thing. And um, you haven't had the honor of hearing them yet, but you're about to. Um, Phoenix has been on this entire road show and he volunteers and the only way he makes any money is by selling his CDs, which are out on our table. And believe me, once you hear them, you'll probably want to get them. He sells them for 10 bucks. And we fund this entire road show off selling merchandise and, and spreading the word. So. If you can, you already have helped out amazingly, and we just appreciate it. And we're not about the money. We're about you guys spreading the word to save the herd. So please make sure we don't have any newsletters when we leave tonight, because if they go back to Montana, they're not educating the people that need it. Um, with that, I want to say thank you all for listening to me tonight. And I hope I open some hearts and ears, and, and I just want you to know that it's all of us that are going to make this change this world needs. And it's not about just the buffalo. It's about every way you turn your head. There's something wrong. So do something. You know, it's, it's the time. We can't wait anymore. They're going to destroy our oceans. They're destroying everything. And if we don't put a stop to it, they're not. Um, with that, I'd like to introduce what I like to call a brother from another mother. Um, this is my brother Phoenix, and believe me, he's going to melt your heart with his words and music. Watch the years pass by me for something more.
Yeah.